this unit here, realistically, it's it's almost hydraulically the same as the Easy Box. Okay. So basically, be, given that the Easy Box is ten years old um, this year, okay. we we have to keep innovating. We have to keep coming up with different ideas. And re really, what this is is an Easy Box but submersible. Okay. So now I can put my pump in my Jojo tank. I can then. Um, not have to worry about that suction lift issue, not have to worry about dry running. I'm physically in the tank. Okay. So when I'm in the tank, look, it has got a permanent magnet motor, so it has a higher efficiency, electrically um, okay. speaking. Um, if I'm in the tank, I can connect this water level reader that you see here, which means that using the Deconnect app, I will be able to tell exactly how much water is physically in my tank. Will it read higher than the pump's level? Like, for example, let's say the pump is two, three meters underwater? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so for that, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because Deconnect is very important with this product um, because there's no screen. Okay. There is nowhere to push buttons and change settings. Okay. okay. All of that is done using this Deconnect box too. Now, this is a standalone product, but it comes standard with the with EasyBox the diver. diver. Uh, this uses power line communication, which means that it communicates through the actual electrical cabling. Now I get the app. Now the app is a cloud-based monitoring system, okay. but it is also a direct connection system. So you don't have to, uh, because this is a, an issue I've had from customers in the past, like, oh great, I get this pump, now I'm going to give a subscription. You don't have to do that. Okay. So what we do then is, I don't, I'm not even logging in for this. I go direct connection. I select the Deconnect box too. Now very important, you've got to ensure that your Wi-Fi is enabled, your Bluetooth is switched on, and your location is, is working. Okay. okay. Which and I'm to. assuming that the Deconnect 2 is connected to the local Wi-Fi or not even? Uh, it, well, that is a setting that you need to do once you activate it. Okay. okay. But for, for this purpose, it doesn't need to be connected. Okay. So this can work in just the remote location? Correct. Okay. So now we go next. Now firstly, power on. Then you press this button. There is only one button, so you don't have to worry. Okay. Um, for five seconds, sometimes up to ten, but now it flashes, and that is flashing there, a little um, wireless signal. Okay. Okay. So now they start connecting to each other. So this water level reader, as well as a float switch, which is also an option, uses near field communication. This is the okay. sort of similar technology to how you can tap your credit card. Okay. Okay. So you're not, um, you're basically not touching any of the wiring. So there's no chance of water ingress or anything like this. Okay. okay. So now I have my direct connection here. I can see immediately on my pump there's been nine errors. Um, go into it. So first, here's that real uh, world data. Like okay. we saw the so screen on there. To what was on here. Correct. Okay. Box, yeah. um, so basically, yeah, let me switch it on so we can see. So, does it have a similar size tank inside? It's got a smaller um, expansion vessel. So, this unit we do recommend putting on an external expansion okay. vessel. Okay. okay, there we can see it's running. It's giving me my real world input power. Okay, that's nice and low. It's lower than the Easy Box actually. Mm. Your yeah, just see if you throttle that a bit more. Okay, there we're at one litre. Okay, it's dropped down to 246 watt. That's okay. very nice and now throttling, yeah. From one litre, it's exactly like on the Easy Box. It's not actually running continuously at this yeah. point. Yeah. Okay. So more or less two litres a minute is the minimum. The minimum you want to be, okay. Okay. Okay, there we can see our status. So um, this is also quite nice because this could be in an underground tank. So you're not going to be right here by the pump listening to when it's running. Mm. So I'll be able to, above ground, see what's going on in my system. Okay. Okay. I can also enable and disable it. So if I want to work on my system, yeah. I want to open up a pipe, I don't want to get sprayed in the face, for example. Okay, you can just disable it through the app. Correct, yes. And okay. can you um, set up like email alerts and, and that, I'm, I'm assuming presumably that is linked to the if it's linked to the internet, yes. do you need a subscription or something for enabling that functionality or is that? Yes, so that's, okay. that's specific to a subscription-based service. Okay. 
Um, okay. This that I'm showing you here is just basically simple controls. So, okay. Uh, so, so in effect, you, you basically just have everything you have on the EasyBox accessible um, just through the phone and what looks like a more user-friendly yes, interface yeah. than, okay. than what you have through that. So this, you can run four devices, mm. but yeah, the divers, when, once there's more than one, it becomes difficult because they're using power line communication. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, that, well, that's a logical limitation. Then. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This unit can also become a surface pump. So there's a little docking station you can mm -hmm. buy. 